Hello, my friends. It has been a few days once again, but you know what? We always end up back here uh, to talk about the significant weather um, and world events, even. Um, we have significant weather going on all over the world right now. Um, we have things going on that just even 80% of Americans don't even know about. And that just blows my mind. It's just, uh, it's the most important thing around us is weather. Um, it determines our seasons. It determines whether or not our weddings get ruined or not. It, you know, just anything under the sun, uh, no pun intended, is controlled by our weather. I mean, we have no choice. I mean, unless, of course, the uh, theories about weather manipulation and whatnot are true then we have no control over what happens and sometimes we go through times and periods of time that it's not just uh, moisture weather like rain and thunder and snow but we're dealing with volcanoes and earthquakes and we're dealing with uh, war uh, water temperature risings and ice melting and you know just things that 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 seem just so crazy and outlandish years ago are now becoming true so you know what it's like you know, do we have to reopen our minds? Do we have to, uh, you know, re re-educate ourselves as far as what we are even looking at? Um, anyway, that's my little f uh, philosophy for the day. For those of you that even have an interest in <laughs> how my thought process goes outside of weather. Anyway, all right, let's get to the good stuff, guys. So, um, good as in stuff to report. Bad as in. Uh, severe weather that can cause the loss of human life, so there's nothing ever good about that. Anyway, as far as the information goes, we are going to start seeing these shark fin waves. Okay, we saw this last year. Uh, we see this basically every hurricane season, unless it's a very inactive season. You don't see too many. Uh, these are tropical waves. These are being pushed along this warm water belt. They're being forced down by a high pressure in the Bermuda Atlantic. We talk about this a lot, and we will talk about it all the time. Repetition, 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 and you will know exactly what to expect uh, based on all the technology and charts we have now. But of course, they could always be wrong, but we can get it within a stone's throw, so they say. So anyway, back to the info. Here's that shark wave right here. This one's going to be pretty significant because um, apparently this one is going to be the beginning of a possible hurricane in the Gulf. But that is not before we have twin hurricanes forming in the south. Yeah, what is that? Southeast? Yeah, Southeast Pacific. And we're going to take a closer look at this. We're going to look at this in detail. We're going to see what different models are saying about it. Uh, first, let's take a look at this. And this one is what catches our hurricane that forms in the Gulf right after these twins fizzle out uh, by June. Uh, we'll double check the date, but I want to say June 9th ish. Um, is when we are going to start seeing the formation of yet another Caribbean slash Gulf hurricane. So we had Alberto, and the second one would be uh, Burrell. Um, if that's not how you pronounce it, that's how uh, that's how we're going to say it this year. Why not? You know, make up our own names, since there's really no uh, what do they call it? really no like rhyme or reason to how they pick the names I mean I'm sure it's some sort of festival somewhere at some science lab but uh, until I go uh, I have nothing to tell you guys about that I know they try to use unused names and whatnot a lot of people ask about the names but alright enough talking let's uh, look at some charts let's get some weather going let's see what we have to expect uh, we're starting here on June 4th this was uh, okay two days ago so let's move up to the 7th which is right here now, as you can see, we already have um, the tropical storm that has formed. This is Aleta. Um, it was named a tropical depression this morning, and then by, I believe, 5, 6 o'clock, it was officially upgraded to a hurricane. So you could see it right there. That is the first hurricane of the season for the Pacific Ocean. It is their second tropical depression um, with a third tropical depression right on its heels, so, which is why I'm calling it the Twin Hurricanes. Uh, not twins because they're going to do the same exact thing. I just thought it was kind of catchy, and hey, uh, you got to agree, right? Twin hurricanes. Why not? we got two right next to each other. They look like twins. Twin hurricanes. It's not uh, rocket science. 
But uh, let's check out our golf, guys, because uh, we got another significant wave coming in. And we're going to start seeing these um, basically every week now, just like we did last year. It's expected to be a busy season. I know it's been a slow start, but you got to remember we are only six days into the season. Now, anytime you see a piece of green, I'm going to make this as simple as possible. When you're on this part of Tropical Tidbits and you see this piece of green that comes off right here and it flows down towards these Leeward Islands right here and then to Puerto Rico, which is still recovering and still trying to turn on water even from Hurricane Maria. So, oh man, if this is another bad season for them, it's just, it's just very, very unfortunate because... Um, I have friends that live on this island, uh, big, big surfing community, um, a lot of people I used to work with in Long Island, um, actually travel from Puerto Rico straight up to the island, uh, to work for the summer, then they go straight back down and they get right back on their surfboard, so, um, I've been, uh, interacting with these people, um, I know what they went through last year, it was horrible, a lot of people I know had stuff just, not just destroyed, but, disappeared like no longer able to be found um just you know just not not good situations not a lot of good going on as far as mother nature is concerned on the earth with these volcanoes and just the uh the fish die-offs it's just you know a, a lot of this is very crazy and you just wonder you have to wonder is this a uh is this some sort of a uh, long-term global cycle that we just haven't experienced yet as a human race or is this something new I mean it's it, both are plausible I mean you know take away the time that humans have been on this planet how do we know that this type of cycle didn't happen before we were here and it just takes this long for maybe this type of cycle where we get two very active hurricane seasons followed by some major eruptions with some record-breaking earthquakes that followed all that or uh, was you know um, I'm trying to think of all these special words. Uh, the, basically, the earthquakes were first, okay? Let's put it that way. The big earthquakes were first, uh, some breaking records, some in places they shouldn't have been, and then we had a very active uh, typhoon season. Um, so, you know, it just seems like every year it's getting more and more active, and it's happening sooner and sooner. Now, this year, as far as our tropical depressions in April, we could lucked out that way, but that doesn't mean anything, guys, because I'm starting to see these shapes rolling across the Leeward Islands and up and through uh, Dominican Republic and the Bahamas, and they are not looking good, and we're talking wave after wave after wave after wave after wave after wave. And we're going to look at that right now because that's just... I know we saw this chart, but we're going to look at it again, so... You can see here, we start seeing that counterclockwise spin right by basically, well, got Guatemala on the other part of the area, but right around here, you see these hurricanes, they're beginning to move out into the Baja region. They don't look like they're going to be any threat to anything uh, north of Mexico, maybe inside the Baja. Um, there's a slight, 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 slight chance, I can't believe I'm, I'm even saying this, I don't want to take any flack, but slight, slight chance that the... Um, invest that is very very close behind our tropical storm 2 in the Pacific um, might be the one if either of these do to make it to the um, <laughs> to California which is right here so you got to picture this they've actually upped this to 30 it's actually 60 believe it or not I don't know why they're behind so far but we have actually formed Tropical Storm Aletta, named Storm, right here, first one of the season for Pacific Ocean. Expected to be a hurricane by about, what do we see here, Friday afternoon-ish, it looks like, maybe a little earlier, around 9 or 10 o'clock. It's expected to become a hurricane, and then we have boom, 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 um, a good Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, a good four days to develop, uh, not too warm of waters in this area so I don't expect this thing to get anything of significance at least unless it would to whip around and then make a threat towards California and the only reason I say that is because as I was researching these today I was looking up the last hurricanes that did hit California let's just say it's been a long time but do you know what else has been a long time since is a major earthquake in California so um, a lot of times that does not matter, and then when you have situations like Guatemala where there was just no forewarning at all for this thing to blow up, everyone's eyes were on Hawaii, and, you know, it's just, 
that's how Mother Nature works. It, 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 it'll pull strings here, pull strings there. Um, who's pulling the strings? That's, you know, for you guys to figure out on your own. I'm not here to do that. Um, so anyway, on with this, guys. I know I'm dragging on here. I'm sorry about that. It's late tonight. I got to be up super early, but um, I wanted to get this out tonight for those of you that stay up late and for those of you that get up even earlier than me. I'm up at 4.45. That's when I start getting my day together. I start doing the video, and then I try to get to work by 6.30. Keyword try. So we do what we can here. Anyway, here is a letter. Let's check her out. As of 0900 p.m. Uh, MDT, Wednesday, June 6, advisory number 5. So this is the fifth update. Uh, I believe the third or the second was the one where it switched to tropical depression. But we're at 50 mile an hour sustained winds. Um, these are the numbers we begin seeing uh, from last year with our hurricane season when we had 10 in a row make their way to the Gulf and up the East Coast and uh, just chilling out off the coast of Long Island for, what, 50 hours, Jose. Just hurricanes doing things that they're just not really supposed to do. So I can only imagine what this next generation is going to be like. Uh, minimum central pressure right now is 999, so that's going to drop significant. I saw some of the models showing um, as low as 930. So that could add some power to this thing, allow it to travel more to the northwest. Um, we just got to wait and see, guys. It's been a long time since a hurricane really did anything significant to this area because they just tend to not make it that far. But um, nonetheless, these are hurricanes, and, you know, that's what we do. We report hurricanes. So, um, yes, yeah, so look at this giant monstrosity that is covering a significant amount of states. Um, earlier in the day, North Dakota, South Dakota were under a watch for a very significant system. And you can see that happening right there. Um, and then we also have Iowa in there. Uh, here the, we got the Dakotas. Look, just, just this entire area. That is a massive storm. That is the size of multiple states. Anytime you see black in there, guys, you can assume anyone underneath this area, they are very concerned. Um, there could be anything from hail to tornadoes to um, landslides, uh, record-breaking rain. When you see dark colors like that, especially even when you see the reds, the reds are the serious part. The darks are the, you know, as serious as it gets for storms of these nature. So you can see kind of where they're blowing up. You can see some cones right here. It looks like these are little volcano peaks blowing up, shooting up into the sky. Then they connect, and they seem to want to become one big moisture system, which according to the jet stream is going to bring all the way up right around here, basically saturating the weekend for Saturday and Sunday. So uh, for those of you still with me in this video, we are pumping in a lot of information. I know um, I owe it to you guys because of the lack of being here for two days, but... Uh, this job I'm at, guys, it, I got to be there early and I stay late. So there's just some days I just can't get on here and and um, give you the best uh, performance, uh, I would say, as I can. I don't want to be here tired and mumbling words, even though I do sometimes, you know, still. Um, but look at these two guys. They're just, um, you know, hey, man, follow me. Let's go see where we can go. It looks like it fizzles off right as it wants to get to the Baja, uh, far to the west of the Baja. But then that second one there, that second one gets a little interesting, and because we get so many days out, um, it kind of fizzles off, but it keeps that rotation there. So if anything, this thing might go into the Baja, and it might skip up into California. We just got to wait and see. In fact, hurricanes have done that before. They've followed this little channel, um, just like on a highway being worked on, and they will come right out into Cali. And pretty much that's the only way in because this water is warmer than this water here. So if they take this path, they usually die out. I've even seen them sometimes come back around this way. Um, but for the most part, a lot of these come up this way, and that's how they make it to Cali. They stay in this warm water basin, and they're right there. So um, I know it's the Pacific, and it doesn't really affect a lot of Americans. You know, we got Hawaii out there. Uh, not, not too often that those hurricanes make it out that far. But we do have to keep an eye on California. I mean, the weather's weird, so would you really be surprised to see a hurricane ride up the coast, the west coast, to uh, uh, California? Or, uh, shoot, imagine seeing one go up to uh, Oregon or anything like that. I mean, 
anything's possible at this point, guys, with what we're seeing here. So um, I have a clip for you I want to show you before this video ends. I wanted to put this in a separate video, and I think I still might anyway because I think it's significant to watch. It's a very weird weather pattern, um, weather moving backwards and then seemingly connected as it's moving backwards, and then as it hits a certain point, it looks as if it meets and explodes into one big storm and then goes back over the same area it came from. So very, very weird anomaly that I had seen uh, from June 3rd. It's in a video I posted and I talked about it, but after watching it again, it just looks so weird. It's just very, very different. And so is this. This is very, very different. It looks like an evil potato man with an army hat on, maybe holding a gun, and he's got his mouth open, and he's holding a grenade or a canteen. Is this going to be any sort of foreshadowing as to what this storm's going to do? I mean, tell me that doesn't look like a potato man with a nose and a hat with his strap over the front of his face. We have a gun with a strap hanging down here. There's the butt of the gun. We got him running, knees bent, and then he's holding a canteen spilling his water. Or what is he holding, a grenade? I don't know. All right, that's right. This is a weather channel, guys. Weather channel. All right, and before I let you go, we get another view of that big, big, big four and five state storm just covering the uh, upper Midwest right now. Uh, definitely severe weather going on in there, guys, so you can just count on that. Hope these people are safe. But um, we also got down here, uh, we have that beginning of our special little... 100% uh, Aleta um, Pacific Hurricane that we will actually see uh, finally form and then we will see where it goes. It looks like it's going to come up to about here and then kind of fizzle off. That could be due to sheer winds. It could be due to the cooler water. Again, more times than none when we get hurricanes to come up this Baja region, that's when they make it to um, California, but usually they are hit by land first before they even get there. So. Uh, very rare to see a hurricane come up the Baja to the west of it and then hit uh, California. So not much to worry about there, but being that it's being active already, um, I believe uh, the Pacific season, even though it started May 15th, kicked off a bit sooner than the June 1st uh season for the atlantic even though we got those waves coming we don't know what's going to happen with them yet so anyway i think we're at like 20 minutes right now so hopefully uh, none of you fell asleep or uh didn't get too bored by this video i hope the information was useful uh that's what we try to do here so anyway we're going to keep it up you uh, up to date on all this stuff on the volcanoes um you name it we'll be here talking about it so I um, hope everyone has a great night. For those of you still awake, for those of you sleeping, I hope you see this in the morning. If I don't get a video out, um, it will be earlier than this tomorrow. So you can guarantee on that. I can't give you an exact time or I feel bad uh, if something comes up. So, all right, guys, have a great night. Thanks for listening and take care. Bye-bye.